Hey guys. <laughs> okay, so if you couldn't tell, I have a camera again. Um, I know I had a camera in the last video I posted, but that was just a rental. Y'all, this is, this is my own camera. Yeah, so the content is really finna be elevated from here on out. So get ready. Anyways, today I will be showing you guys how I made this picket cover to go over my picket um, and it is interchangeable between whatever picket you have. I shall show you an example. Here we have Bum Gyu. This is the picket that I brought to um, the TXC concert I went to a few days ago um, at UBS Arena. If you saw me there, let me know in the comments. But I also bought a Subin picket while I was there and so I had him in there as well. It has, you know, clips so you can close it and um, it fits pretty much all standard official pickets. It even fits, you know, like, I'm pretty sure all groups have the same size pickets because um, here is my Cherry Young one that also fits as well. So yeah, it was super easy, um, super simple, not that expensive. I made these on a whim, actually, my friends sent a picture of like a picket cover from like a Japanese fan. Um, Cause they always have really cute like concert accessories. They're all like lacy and pretty. And so I was like, I literally can do that. Like I can do that. And so I made three of them, one for me and um, one for my two friends that went as well. Um, but it was kind of like spur of the moment thing. So I didn't have much time to like play around with what would work best um, for like the actual cover part. Cause the lace part was easy and honestly if you don't care about like messing up your picket or like if you are only using this for one concert you can just glue the lace directly onto your picket but since i didn't want to do that and also because i didn't have their pickets with me to glue them directly on i made sleeves for them so that was the part that i kind of had to just make up on the spot based on pictures that i've seen of other picket covers that are like official merch because i know some companies sell picket covers for their you know their groups pickets but yeah that's pretty much it it's very simple it's it's very very simple and i decided to make this tutorial because at first i was like mm, what if i sold these but then i was like i don't really feel like it i don't think i would feel like doing it over and over again not that it was hard but just because i know how i am and so i'm like let me just pass on my my technique to the masses so that they can make their own i mean if you do want to buy one from me you can just dm me but like if you want to make it yourself, then this is how you do it. And yeah, let's just jump right into the tutorial. Okay, so here are all of the supplies that I use. You don't have to use all of them, but they will be linked in the description below. And I started by folding the tablecloth over so that it was double-sided. And then I traced the circumference of the picket. Um, I made sure to go a little bit over the edge just so I had room to staple it together once I was putting it together. Um, so you don't want to be too close when outlining the picket. Also you want to leave a little bit of a like tab towards the handle so that you have room to attach the little buttons that go on it. All right, and once you have your circle measured out, I had some lines from the folding of the tablecloth on there, so I wanted to get those out and I ironed it with a sheet on both sides just so you don't melt the plastic. Also make sure your iron is on a really, really low setting. And I kind of just went over the lines um, until they weren't there anymore. <laughs> oh, also while I was ironing, I was like pulling it slightly apart with my hands as it cooled off just to really make sure the lines got out. Um, it didn't work 100%, but it worked enough so that you couldn't like see them as much as you could before. Okay, so just line up your picket inside the cover and then you just go ahead and start stapling. Um, I'm sure there's easier ways to do this or like better ways other than a stapler, but it was the fastest way and I literally made these like two hours before my flight took off. So we were on a bit of a time crunch. <laughs> 
Um, but I'm sure you could like, if you're good with sewing, you could sew it together or maybe like melt the edges together. I don't know, but the stapler worked good. And so then you just staple like halfway around on both sides. You wanna staple enough so that you can still pull the picket out, but also so that it's like not all loose. So like maybe like 60% and not halfway. And then I just went with my X-Acto knife and trimmed the edges of the plastic once it was all stapled. Remember to leave the tab part for the button. So like don't go all the way around when cutting like against the circle. Um, these little buttons I got from Amazon, they did not say when I bought them that I needed a little tool to complete the application. So you'll see what I do in a second, but you wanna have four pieces for one part. So you need eight pieces total. I mean, I guess depending on what kind of buttons you get, if you get the ones that I linked directly, then that's how it went. But you put one pokey side on both sides. <laughs> And then you put the button part on each. And I just secured it with a little bit of glue because when I did it without the glue, um, it kept coming apart. So yeah. So this is that part I was talking about. You see the like point that's poking up? Um, the clasp will not close um, if that point is there. And technically you're supposed to have like this little like metal bar thing to press it down. But I did not know that I needed that when I bought these. So I just cut it off with my X-Acto knife enough so that they would button together. And that is the finished base of your cover. So this part was optional. I decided to add some holographic vinyl that I had from previous projects. Um, you don't have to do this, you can keep it clear, but I will also link these with the other stuff in the description. But then I just, you know, stuck it on there. It didn't cover the whole circle, so I, you know, trimmed other pieces to fit on the sides, but this part is pretty self-explanatory. There were little air bubble pockets, so in order to get rid of those, I just poked a hole in the bubble and then laid it down flat. And I did this for all of the ones that I could see. All right, and once you have your base all done, you can just go ahead and start gluing on the lace. Um, I did the first little bit with the picket facing front um, just so I could line up the lace and make sure it wasn't overlapping too much of the picture. And then I flipped it to the other side just because I was a little bit scared of the hot glue like melting through the plastic and burning the picket underneath. So this was just a precautionary act that I didn't need to do because the plastic didn't melt. But you can do it if you want just to be extra, extra safe. The white lace that I bought from Hobby Lobby was like three layers. And so that was a little thick for me, especially cause I'm 
adding more colors so i went and trimmed some of the like excess off also um i forgot to mention but when you buy your lace you want to try and get the kind that has like an end where the hot glue won't seep out from so like it kind of has like an edge that was like sewn together um if you don't the hot glue will obviously seep through the lace and burn your fingers as you're pressing it um so just try i mean if you can't find that kind you can you know buy the regular kind but just an extra precaution <laughs> like this black this black lace that i had kind of had a border to it but not really so I used a little stick to press it down so I wasn't burning my fingers. It just took a little bit longer, but it got the job done. And then lastly, just to make the edges look extra neat and to add a little bling, I got these strips of you know, diamond stickers and just glued them down to the edge. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found that that was very easy to follow along with. Um, I've never posted like a long format tutorial. I'm so used to like TikTok videos. So let me know if that was good and if I explained things well enough. And if you ended up making the pit cover, tag me in your pictures. I want to see what they look like. And yeah, that is all from me. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe. I have a few videos coming out soon. I have a room tour video coming out and also some concert vlogs. So be on the lookout for that. Follow me on all my socials. They're linked in the description below. And yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.